Hi friends, welcome to this class. So we are we are discussing about this molecular decimeter, right? In last class we discussed about biphenyls. In this class, let us discuss about this heli helical compounds. That is helicity. Helicity. Let us discuss about this helicity. Helicity is also known as molecular opti optical. That is molecular optivity. So let me. molecular optical optical activity due to overcrowding because of this overcrowding the molecule gets optical activity see here you know this anthracene right this is anthracene so this is aromatic compound why it is aromatic because it has got 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14, 14, 14 pi electron and there is conjugation continuous conjugation and all are in single plane all carbons are sp2 hybridized all are in single plane because of which it is aromatic and also it is optically inactive why it is optically inactive because all are in single plane there can be a plane which can cut into two equal half so it has got plane of symmetry because of plane of symmetry it is optically inactive so this is anthracene there is one more molecule called pinanthracene see here structure is same as anthracene but it differ only here see here this is pinanthracene this is also planar molecule but here if i give substituents like methyl here here also methyl because of repulsion one methyl goes above the plane and this methyl goes below the plane so this molecule goes above the plane whereas this goes below the plane so it will be no more in a single plane right because of this crowd crowding crowd means density will be more crowded city they will call because their population density will be more right because of this crowding effect crowd there will be repulsion to minimize that repulsion one will go above one will go below so that repulsion will be minimized such so so they are no more in single plane so plane of symmetry is absent since plane of symmetry is absent these molecules becomes optically active optically active means chiral right because of this molecule there is steric hindrance because of this steric hindrance one goes above one goes below to remove that steric hindrance because of which plane of symmetry will be removed from the molecule since plane of symmetry is removed so those molecules will be optically active chiral right so this is about pinanthracene right and also if you want examples there are many more examples here see here hexahelicin there is one more molecule called hexahelicin hexa helicin see here its structure will be like this so this is hexa right here also same thing right uh, how should i try here right see here, this is hexahelicin because see here this has got six ring because of which there is repulsion here they come very close to each other because this close approximation there is repulsion so one will move above and this this ring will go below so one will move above one will move below so they are never in a single plane so plane of symmetry is absent so becomes optically active if the right sided undergoes above then it is called p plus right 
its nomenclature as r and s we used to do in uh, this uh, aline spirens and biphenyls here it is p plus right handed if it goes above its p plus and its mirror image since it is optical active it should have its mirror image right so let us see its mirror image its mirror image will be like this because of this uh, its mirror image this will be above and this will be below right this is hexahelicin so here left handed is above and right handed is below this will be m minus this is the nomenclature for this uh, helical compound that is molecular activity due to overcrowding because of this overcrowding here one will go above one will go below so plane of symmetry will be absent because of which the molecule becomes optically active if the right handed if the right handed of the molecule goes above this will be p plus if the left handed or the left handed molecule goes above then it will be m minus or the right handed goes below it will be m minus right handed goes above p plus right handed goes below m minus this is the nomenclature this is for hexahelicin right and also uh, i gave you the example for substituted uh, anthracin not right pinanthracin so there is one more benzo see next let us discuss this pinanthracin as i discussed in pinanthracin what happens see here substituted pinanthracin so it was pinanthracin so here substituted because of this methyl one methyl goes above and this methyl goes below because of repulsion whereas this goes above if right sided above p plus and its mirror image where we get this left handed below Man, mm, here yeah, metal is there. Yes. So here it is metal, and here metal. This metal, left-handed metal goes above, and this right-handed. If right-handed it is above P plus, right-handed if it is below, this is M minus. This is how we should do give p plus m minus nomenclature for this pinanthracin. This is what pinanthracin. Pinanthracin. There is one more example that is benzo pinanthracin. There also we can see this uh, optical activity due to molecular overcrowding. Benzo pinanthracin. See here, benzophenanthracin means right. It has got one more like this. Substituent will be at this position because of this substituent there will be repulsion. If this left-handed goes above because of substituent and this goes below. Then it will be right handed above means P plus, left handed above means M minus. Optically active. Why these are optically active? Because no plane of symmetry. Because they are not in a single plane. If its mirror image will be like this. This will go below and this goes above methyl. So right handed uh, above means p plus right handed above p plus left uh, right handed below means m minus or left handed above means m minus left handed below means p plus however you wish you remember one way no need to get confused so hexahelicin we discuss phenanthracin discuss benzophenanthracin why we have discussed all these things this is because of overcrowding overcrowding repulsion 
they undergo like twisting they move away from the single plane because of which they become optical active so molecular optical activity due to overcrowding so this is about uh, overcrowding effect right and also in uh, i have got yes 10 more minutes let me discuss this thing also anulins you have discussed about this anulins right anulins in aromatic compounds we will study this about these anulins here i have got 14 anulin means 14 conjugated bonds will be there so let me draw this sorry sorry yes this is anilin double bond single bond 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 double bond all are in conjugation 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 so pi electrons so it is 14 anilins see here it is also having hydrogen 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 in aromatic compounds what we do all here all carbon are sp2 so 14 pi electron it satisfies hooker's rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron 4 threes are 12 12 plus 2 14 pi electron so it satisfies hooker's rule so we will tell it is aromatic and also it is conjugation conjugation is there so it we will tell aromatic but it is non aromatic why it is non aromatic it is non aromatic because see here these four hydrogens will feel repulsion because of the repulsion they won't be in a single plane because of repulsion one will be above this hydrogen may go above this hydrogen may come below and this hydrogen may go above and this hydrogen may come below because of which they never be in a single plane if they are not in a single plane there is no plane of symmetry so it becomes optically active see so i gave this example because here also because of overcrowding the photonolins become optically active so and also it is non aromatic why it is non aromatic because of this overcrowding hydrogens repulsion they never be in a single plane right so this is about uh, this uh, optical activity of these compounds so in next class let us discuss about this hemispirens i have left with small very small topics like hemispirens we will discuss that thing and we will finish it off till then take care have a great day